Hello. Today I'd like to talk about solar on a RV. The question is, can you take an RV and make it 100% solar powered? This is a question I pose and the challenge I accepted. This is a 24 foot cargo trailer. It's kind of like a race car trailer. It's got a living quarters in the front, cargo area in the back. It's got two sinks, shower, bathtub, bunks to sleep in and a full kitchen arrangement in the back you can park a car or store stuff. Up here on the roof we have the solar setup. Right here uh, close to the camera we have six Helios 420 watt panels. In the front we have two Helios 305 watt panels for a total of a little over 3,000 watts on an RV. All of them are mounted flat. On an RV, it's not a really good idea to tilt up to a panel because of wind load. And so these are all mounted flat on a Shuko railing system. Kind of give you an idea what it, how it's set up down here. Large rail runs down the complete length of the RV on both sides to distribute the weight evenly. Plenty of L feet down the length to distribute the weight across the cross beam, inner cross beams evenly. Uh, this is a Shuko system, S-C-H-U-C-O. Uh, unfortunately, right after I ordered these, about a year ago, the uh, local distributor in the United States went out of business, so they're no longer available. But there's uh, several other distributors that you can buy similar metal from. This is an extruded aluminum system. It's kind of expensive, but it's effective. You can kind of get an idea how it's mounted to the roof. Here's the mid-clamps. And here's the end clamps. Some trimming required to make it clear the center of the roof. Since this is a bowed roof. But that kind of gives you an idea how these solar panels are mounted. This is the inside system. Inside the RV. You see the meter spinning backwards. We're getting credit right now for the energy uh, produced. This is an eBay bot meter, so it's not actually the meter that we're using for the power company, obviously. We're set up for net metering here, so this adds to the solar on the house and uh, gives us credit when we overproduce. As you see, it's spinning backwards. Pretty good. About 2,500 watts right now in the midday sun, which ain't bad for a mounted flat on a roof. Let's get some light in here. Okay, so what we have here is we have pretty much a good out outback system. Two inverters. Uh, two Outbacks MX80s and one MX60. Because it's a 12 volt system, all these are required because of the efficiency loss going to, from uh, to the end of the 12 volt batteries. Here is the battery bank. Uh, well vented. There's a vent tube with a fan that goes out. I used the plastic LB there, put a fan in that. Um, inside this box is six roll Shurit L16 frame S600 batteries, a little over 1250 amp hours. Bolted the floor, of course. I'm not done with that yet. I gotta start finish the outside a little more. This is still just a work in progress. Uh, home homebrew uh, DC breaker box out of a recycled electrical panel. Here's some uh, grid tie inverters. The Sun 600G model. Each of them rated at 600 watts. I got one, one of these inverters per 420 watt panel. I also got another in phase mounted on uh, another panel up on the roof of the house. Uh, two unisolar US 60s tied together in series. Here's another uh, grid tie inverter that I'm experiment with. That's on one of the 305 watt panels. Actually both 305 watt panels are tied to getting in parallel to this inverter right now. Here's the electrical panel. The Outback Mate system. So that's it. So that's the RV solar setup. Hope you like it. Still work in progress, obviously. Um, 
this is a 12 volt system right now. I'm gonna leave this gray inverter, which is a grid tie, and uh, it's 12 volt, and I'm gonna rewire these to have two 12 volt batteries and four 24 volt, two 12 volt, but two batteries wired for 12 volts, four batteries wired for 24 volt, and I'm gonna replace this black inverter with a 24 volt grid tie one as well, and go to a 24 volt system on the high power system. And I use the right one for heavy loads, air conditioning, heating, uh, toaster oven, blenders, things that draw a lot of power to keep the surge off of the other inverter which I use for the critical electronics. Um, this trailer is getting set up to be a ham a disaster uh, relief trailer for emergency communications so this will be nice to have uh, redundant power on the go so we can set up uh, a link station uh, if the great power goes down. Um, this is all funded out of my pocket uh, though the feds have paid 30% credit back into this uh, out of this system, which is nice, helped out a little bit on the bill. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you got any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Um, I th think this might be the first three kilowatt RV setup. I'm hoping. I uh, just completed it January of this year, of 2013, and uh, it's a hybrid system on and off grid. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. If you got any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'm no solar guru by no means, but I might be able to help you out with any questions you might have uh, along the way uh, with your solar endeavors. Thank you for watching.